Hi guys, I'm Flora from Dynamixis. Welcome to this new series of tutorials where we're going to see how to use a multi-view camera system to produce animation with our software suite. Dynamixis offers a complete multi-view tracking pipeline including software and hardware. The benefits of using a multi-view HMC is that the system will be able to build a real 3D shape of the actor's face. The depth information will allow the software to retrieve more precise and accurate movements, especially around the mouth. In this first video, we're going to use the Dynamixis Studio HMC in the Tethered option and our monitoring software grabber to record a range of motion and a calibration video. If you want to know how to record your videos using the wireless or wireless live versions of our system, I invite you to watch the next video of this playlist. The first part of this video will be focused on how to set up the system and get the camera's feedback in order to properly position our HMC. Then, we'll record a short range of motion that we'll be using for the next steps of this tutorial series. And finally, we'll see how to record a proper calibration video using a checkerboard. The Dynamixis Stereo Studio HMC comes with two cameras, two infrared LED rings, and the Smart Sync box which synchronizes the cameras and the lighting. You will need a D-Tap battery to power on the Smart Sync box. Position the head-mounted camera so that the talent's ears fall into the slots. Use the top velcros and the back screw to adjust the size and tighten the HMC. The cameras must be aligned with the tip of the nose. If needed, it is possible to use the side screw to change the shell's orientation. Clip the battery on the V-mount, then put the belt on. Plug in the Smart Box cable onto the battery. It should start automatically. Plug the two cameras to the computer. Make sure to plug them in the back of the computer, as the front plugs usually don't deliver enough power to support the cameras. I started Grabber on my computer. The first thing that I need to do is to set my layout as a dual camera. Since I'm using a horizontal HMC, I'll select 2H, two cameras arranged horizontally. I'll click on the left button and select my first camera in the list. As you can see, the video feedback has appeared on the left of the preview. Using the right button, I'll select my second camera in the list. Now that both my cameras have been successfully loaded, you can see that the color of these buttons has switched to green. I'll click on this button to put the lights on on the HMC. If I click again on the camera's button, I have access to these icons that can be used to mirror and rotate the video feedback. Whether the previews are facing each other or displayed in the opposite directions is not important. You can choose the disposition you prefer as long as it stays the same between all your recording sessions. Now, we'll adjust the camera's position. Again, there is no absolute way to position the cameras. You can put them on level axis or use a low angle to focus on the lip sync. What we recommend is that the face of the talent is centered in each view and entirely visible. The two eyes of the talent are visible on each view. You need to be able to see the eyebrows moving and the chin must not go out of the frame on extreme mouth openings. Let's have a look at all the different settings on the left panel. This line allows me to change the frame rate and resolution of my cameras. I leave the default resolution but change the frame rate to 120 images per second. These sliders can be used to change the exposure and gain of the videos. The talent must not be overexposed but not too dark either. This line indicates that the hardware has been synchronized by the Smart Sync box. This button can switch the lighting on and off. Audio is not recorded by default. To enable the audio recording, I'll select my microphone in the list. As you can see, the view meter is now enabled. The timecode panel allows you to select how to set the timecode of the videos that will be recorded. Since I'm using a Dynamixis HMC, the Smart Sync box will set the timecode. This can be very useful if you are using multiple HMCs synchronized by a timecode server. Down here, you can change the name and output folder of the videos, but I leave that to default. The range of motion is a convenient way to gather a set of expressions in one video that will be used as a base to create the animation profile. Of course, this is not mandatory. You can start working on the talent's video performances directly. To ensure the best quality animation, there are three important rules to keep in mind. First, ask your talent to stand with a neutral expression at the beginning of each shot. Second, keep the face visible at all times. Avoid hair and hands moving in front of the cameras. And third, Always use the same cameras and lighting for the following recordings. Make sure that the cameras move as little as possible between the different shots. 
The list of expressions we're going to use is described in our ROM guidelines that can be downloaded from our website support page. You will also find video samples if you need. Before starting, we'll ask our actress to have a neutral expression and look straight in front of her. When she's ready, I'll click on the red button to start recording. We'll follow the list of poses and ask her to perform them one by one. It doesn't matter if the talent is not always looking straight ahead. He or she can have a look at the document if it's easier for them to understand the poses. Once the poses have all been performed, I click again on the red button to stop recording. I can click on these links to open my videos and check the recordings. It is not mandatory to group every poses in one video. If you find it easier, you can record multiple short videos to create your animation profile. When using a multi-view system, there is no unique way to position the cameras. We need to record a calibration video. For this, we will use a checkerboard and move it in front of the cameras. This video, along with the checkerboard description, will be used by performer to estimate the camera's properties and disposition. This is a mandatory step in the Dynamics' multi-view pipeline. It is preferable to remove the HMC to better move the checkerboard around. Be very careful when you remove the HMC that you don't touch the cameras. I'll click again on the red button to start recording. I'll hold the HMC in one hand, while my other hand moves the checkerboard in front of the cameras. I'll make sure that my checkerboard is entirely visible on both previews and move it in every direction, including the depth. A 30 seconds to 1 minute video is enough. To stop the recording, I'll click again on the red button. We now have everything to start working on our animation profile. But before that, we will show you in the next video how to do the recordings using a Dynamics wireless or wireless live system. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions, you can reach us at support at Bye!